Hey guys, today we're going to learn about how to clean up our URLs. And when you click on our other pages here, you can see we have index.php slash main slash about. And that's really long, and the index.php is pretty unnecessary. So we're going to learn how to get rid of that using our .ht access file that we were going to create soon. So we're going to delete that, and then we're also going to go take it another step, and we're going to get rid of our controller. Our controller is called main and we're just going to get rid of it and we're just going to have about and these are pretty simple and clean URLs which everybody wants and they're good for SEO so let's go about how we can make this so first thing we want to do is in our main file our main uh, project which is our CI file which should be just the Codeigniter project in our HT docs because I'm using uh, Mac if you're using Windows you're going to be in your www folder uh, we're going to create a new file in our project and it's going to be called a .ht access uh, the dot before it means it's a hidden file on your computer so it's not usually shown but uh, I'm using Coda and Coda actually shows hidden files with a uh, right here so we don't have a problem seeing it so we're gonna make a .ht access and we're gonna click on it and I'm gonna give you guys some code in the description to copy and paste in here and I'm gonna go over kinda what it does so if mod rewrite is enabled we're gonna turn the rewrite engine on and our, re our rewrite base is our project name so whatever your project name is mine's CI yours is whatever I mean just you need to change this name uh, don't mess with this don't mess with this and our rewrite rule we're going to get rid of index.php so we're pretty much making it go away so and that's it let's save that and then the next step is to go into your applications folder under config and go to config.php and in here is the index file uh, it says if you're using mod rewrite to remove this page set this variable so that it is blank and we are using mod rewrite so we're going to leave it blank. We're going to save that. And now if I refresh this page, it should work. Um, it is not working because all we did is get rid of index.php. So index.php slash main. So this is what it was before. And we got rid of this with that .ht access file and now it works so it's a little bit cleaner all I had to do is use this file um, if this didn't work for you which it didn't work for me my very first try either I'm gonna troubleshoot this at the end of this video so stay tuned on how to fix that hopefully it worked for you guys and then the next thing we want to do is get rid of this main so let's go to in our project folder, go to application, go to config, and go to routes. And in here we're going to make a new route. See this is a URI, URI routing. So right below uh, whatever is here by default, we're going to make a new route. and we're going to call it whatever you want the page to be called in case our case right now we want it to be called about for the about page we only want about and then it's going to equal a string of main slash about so I'm going to save that so right now we have main slash about and now I'm telling it to just use about 
I'm going to go to that page and it works. So we just got rid of uh, an ugly chunk of the URL. So this is better for SEO. Um, there's a dynamically way to do all this if you have a huge website. I'm not going to go into that. This is a really simple way. If you have another page, maybe we want to do our contact page, which we do have a contact page in our previous tutorial that we created. I'll show you my controller real quick. So we have an about page and a contact page. So let's do that page also. In our routes.php, we're going to make a contact and it's going to be main slash contact. And we're going to save that. And then now we can go to contact. And if you're following along with my tutorial, you might want to go to your views and click on your header.php. And in here, you remember before we had a we were using base URL and site URL. Uh, we're just going to use base URL and we're going to change our navigation because now when you click on this, our navigation is still going to main about. We just want about. So we're just going to get rid of the main here. And that should fix it. So now we have clean URLs. And also, I'll teach you another cool trick. Let's go to instead of writing this, maybe you have like let's say in our controller we had like 20 pages in our main controller and we don't want to write 20 of these um, don't just limit your learning right here to me teaching you, let's go to um, let's go to Code Igniter and go to skim this manual here and let's find the URI class, or the URI, routing. There we go. So, as you read through here, it tells you how to use it, which I just told you. But there's also these things for wildcards. See right here, you can use this any. And we're going to use that. You can read about it more here, but we're just going to go into it. So instead of writing 20 of them, I'm just going to say anything you put in here, no matter what, is going to be routed to main slash dollar sign one. And that's the variable. So if it's about, so pretty much this is going to be rerouted to about, about. Whatever you put in the any is going to be right here. So if it was contact, then it would be contact. So now, if I had 20 pages, then this would work for all of, the, all of them. So this is a really good idea. So let's go to, I mean, it still works. But what was if we had more than one controller? So that's where it kind of... Um, has this downfall because if you add another controller maybe you don't have a main controller maybe you have like a login controller or something some other controller then we don't want it to go to main we want it to go to whatever the new controller you made and Code and I gets confused there so as long as you have one controller then this method will work just fine but Otherwise, we'll just I'll just stop the learning there. Um, don't forget to read up on everything in the table of contents. There's a lot to learn here. Uh, let, let's go into troubleshooting if your .ht access didn't work. If you're one of those people, pretty much this tutorial is over. We accomplished our mission here. We have a really clean URL. So if it didn't work, then it's then keep watching. Um, there's lots of different ways of doing this, and I would suggest Googling it. 
just type in code igniter mod rewrite and there's lots of different variations of this or mod rewrite or code igniter how to remove index.php to get a cleaner URL and I would just follow the like what they're saying if not another quick solution is to just add a question mark here it sounds pretty weird but it works for me sometimes and it's pretty random uh, just adding a question mark right there sometimes just works I don't know why it just does so the main thing to have, know is just have make sure your project name is right here and if you're if this is online like in an actual domain then you're probably just gonna want this because we're in our HT docs here and this is according to HT docs so we're going inside of CodeIgniter so that's why we go inside of CodeIgniter here but if you're on your domain then you're probably just gonna want the main root um, another thing is it might be your localhost let's see here let's go to your applications let's click on MAMP and go to yeah, open this okay so inside of your MAMP folder or if you're using Windows um, there's actually a you can just go to your WAMP folder and click on a you might have this folder I'm not sure but click on conf oh, it's not even a word I don't know but uh, click on your Apache folder and under Apache is this really weird weird uh, name HTTPD dot com whatever open that in your tech favorite text editor and we're gonna search this just press control find control F or for control find and search for mod rewrite we're gonna search for that and all the way down here as you can see we want to load this model module uh, we want to re load mod rewrite and if it has a this uh hashtag before it then it's commented out you want to uncomment it uncomment it sorry so make sure that is uncommented and save it and you're probably going to want to restart MAMP or WAMP whatever you're using um and see if that works if not I would continue searching on the internet trying to figure out what's up this actually took me a while to figure out how to get a clean URL because it didn't work for me at first. So I would try all that and hopefully it works for you.